Hey guys, I have here in this case the X35. You want to know what the X35 is? Stay tuned to find out. Hey, welcome back guys. I am here with the X35. This is the little DJI uh, Phantom Clone lookalike here, but it's miniature. So let's open it up, take a look at the X35 GPS drone, guys. This is how it comes in the case. It's got foam inside. This will, you can remove this after you pull the drone out, but be careful because this tends to hold on to the camera. This does have three axis gimbal, so it makes it nice. Uh, it's supposed to take pictures in 4K and video is supposed to be somewhere in the 2K area. At least that's what it's showing whenever I did a, a quick uh, video and set it in my editor. It was showing uh, anywhere from 2K uh, to 2.7K. Uh, I know in the uh, instructions or if you look at the product uh, specs, it shows that it's uh, 1080p, but that's not true. So we'll have to test that out today. But uh, the props are already off. They're inside the case here. It does have a battery. I got the one with two batteries. So it's kind of like a smart battery. So this one does have a full charge on it. I charged it up. Uh, this one is 7.6 volt, uh, 300 and, uh, 3150 milliamps. So that is supposed to give us at least a flight time of 20 minutes. So we'll have to see how that goes. Let me go ahead and set that back in there. Just snaps right back in. Set that off the side. Take a look at the controller here. You have the controller. The functions are all labeled here. Camera tilt up and down. You got take picture, uh, take video. This is where the camera mount goes. So batteries, I kept the screw out of there. So it does take four double A's. So I do have brand new double A's in there. I put some good ones in there since it's a GPS drone. All right, the buttons here are pretty basic. This one right here is, they say home mode uh, for indoors, outdoors, but really all you're doing is switching from uh, GPS. If you hold it for a few seconds, you can get out of GPS and go into uh, altitude hold only. So make sure you're always in GPS mode. Uh, I believe it lights up green towards the top of this button. Your return to home button, if you hold it for a few seconds, should return you back to home. This one here, if you hold down and you keep holding down, it'll end up putting it into a GPS calibration mode. Uh, if you just do a short press, it will put you in speed one or two. So that's how you change the speed rates as well. Of course, you got your on and off button here, and then your lanyard uh, little uh, uh, connector here so you can put a lanyard on there and pull this foam off. Here is the phone holder, which is pretty basic. To adjust it, there's these right here, tilt, okay. And then on the back, right here, loosen that, and you can adjust to your phone. So you could see you could get a pretty good sized phone in there. So, but that's what that's for. And to get it off there, you just pull kind of hard and it'll come right off. You do get a screwdriver and you get the power cable, which is, uh, this is actually a C charger. So I'm gonna tell you guys, it took me like six hours to charge one of those batteries. It says four and a half, but it took me six to seven hours to charge the drone battery. Mine did come with two. This one was 75%. It took about four hours. Uh, the one that's in the drone was 50%, and that one took me about six, six and a half hours to charge you guys. So very long charge time for this, okay? So I'm just warning you now. Uh, you do have in here, I took the prop papers off here. You do have prop guards. Real simple to put on. These just pop off and they'll snap right in there, okay? So pretty pretty easy. We put that back in there because I'm not gonna use those today. Then you got your propellers. So you do get a set that go on the drone and you get a spare set. So I want to show you with this spare set. When you get this, I haven't put it on yet either because I wanted to show you guys. This has two little foam strips in here, you guys two foam strips and that's gonna go at the bottom of the landing gear okay so you'll want to go and make sure that's nice and clean and then you can stick one on each side okay so in case you're landing on something like this it's not gonna slide around so that's where that's at I'm not gonna use that today because I'll be on my landing pad 
But these are all set. B propeller would go on B motor. So it's going to be, it even tells you the direction the motor spins so you know which way to put the propeller on. So on this you'd be like you're going clockwise, okay? And then for the A side, make sure I got an A here and not a B again. Here's an A. It's going to be counterclockwise, guys, because it's showing you the motor spinning that way. So it's going to be counterclockwise. So you could just do that and then just do a little hand snug. It's ready to go. You do have your in, uh, directions here. Quick startup guide for um, iOS and Android so you can get that app going. So it is, uh, what is that, the GX-GPS Hawk. So that's the one you're going to want to download, you guys. Or you could just scan these. So that makes it simple. A little startup guide. And then you got your manual. It tells you all instructions on what to do, how to calibrate it, all that good stuff. So, all right, let's go get this thing up in the air. See how well it flies. Hopefully it does pretty good. I was having a little trouble with the uh, SD card at home. I tried uh, two different ones. Hopefully this third one's a charm because uh, it records, but it just... It's like it's my readers not reading it so we'll see what happens when I go and transfer it to the iPhone so hopefully it works out but all right guys let's get this thing up in the air let me finish putting these props on all right guys hey I'm out here with the x35 GPS drone I'm gonna go ahead and fire this thing up I'm gonna go ahead and start up the drone there we go turn on the controller we're gonna go ahead and bind it by going up, down. Okay, it's bound, so I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate this. So let me go ahead and start that process, and it's pretty easy, right where the speed rate is here, I'm gonna just hold this down, keep holding. Okay, now it's ready to calibrate. So, lights should be flash. It's hard to see because we've got a lot of smoke out here. I got ashes still falling from the fires here in California, so. Let me go ahead and start turning this. Should beep on the controller. There, just made a beep. Face it down. Okay, just did two beeps. So now it is calibrated, the GPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go into my Wi-Fi trying to connect to my uh, GoPro camera so mine says X drone okay that's what mine's showing up as so I'm gonna go ahead and press that I'm gonna get that connected I am in airplane mode so that way you'll just concentrate on that app only so let me go to the GX dash GPS Hawk all right I'm gonna start a screen recording as well I make sure my microphone is on start recording okay so I'm gonna do the screen recording so you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna press play all right we have picture I should be able to tilt the camera up and down okay there's down up okay so you got the switches up and down all right guys I am looking for satellites we got 13 satellites I'm going to switch, or actually I'm going to go into the settings, I'm going to go to other, and I could do transmission 720p or 4k, but I'm going to leave it at 720p for now, just to see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the gyros. We already did the GPS, go to map, set the map here, okay. I am going to go to video and I'm going to start the recording right here. I've been having a little bit of problems with the SD cards. Swapped out a couple of them. So hopefully this one will work. They're all class 10, but uh, the image was freezing up when I was checking it at home. So uh, hopefully it'll work guys and I'll throw that image in here. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and arm this thing. Pressing down to the bottom corners. And if you don't take off right away, it'll shut back down. So let's go ahead and arm it and bring it up. There we go. Let it get its bearings. All right. 
Okay, I guess it wanted to shoot up to about that distance. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back down a little bit. So far it's pretty stable. See me in the picture. What's up guys? Check that camera till it keeps jumping back up right there. That's funny. Look at it go. I'm not doing nothing. And it wants to go up that many feet. So let me see if it's in the settings somewhere here. Oh, it's coming back down. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Oh, and it's gonna... Okay, I guess it's gonna land. That's strange. All right. Okay, let me get out of there. I'm gonna stop the recording. That was very strange, guys. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna calibrate this thing again. I'm actually gonna do it manually. Let's take this thing up again and see what happens. That was that was really strange. All right, let me arm it back up again. Start the camera. And there it goes, trying to go back up again. I'm gonna go into here and see if there's something that um, something else that may be going on. I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and check. Oh, nope, there it goes to land again. That is weird. There it goes. I'm trying to hold it up right now. That is strange. I don't know why it's doing that. It's going back up. It almost died right now. All right, that was that is weird. I'm gonna turn all my waypoints down. I'm gonna restore everything. That was weird. All right, now it seems to stay. Now let me try tilting the camera down so you can at least see me. All right, here I am. This thing has a zoom on here too as well. You can go to 50 times zoom, and I can actually I should be able to tilt the camera. Looks like this thing's going up a little bit again. Okay, it's staying there. So here's the zoom, you guys. They face me a little bit. You can see the back up a little. It's not very clear, but you can zoom up to 50 times. So it's kind of cool, I guess, if you want to look at something from far away. So I'll leave that on for a minute. I'm gonna put this a little bit more up to, towards the horizon. It's pretty windy today. Like I said, a lot of smoke. I don't know why people are walking their dogs out here. There's a dog park right next to us, right over there, a huge dog park. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing over and just kind of give it a little flight here. I may want to go and, I probably should go and uh, set the rate. You press this one. There, there's rate two. All right, so far so good. It's heading out. Go up a little bit here. I'm gonna go up to, I don't know why it's saying minus on the height. It's saying minus uh, 24, which that's not right, but I am out about 100 meters. I'm not gonna go any further. There's a bunch of kids over there. I wanna test out this return to home. So I'm gonna press that and see if this comes back. Here it comes, it just comes straight back. I wanna see how that does. Here it comes right above me. All right, should be coming down now. Hopefully this thing don't drop out of the sky. Oh, it gets a lot of a lot of movement there when it's coming down. It's a VRS there. The vertical ring of state is what I'm saying where it hits dead spots in the air. And it's like it stopped itself for a second here. Let me tilt the camera down. It is coming down. Sun's right there. It's coming down pretty slow. Just want to see how close it gets. 
Here it comes. Apologize about the sun. It's 10 in the morning and 91 degrees already, so it's pretty hot today. So that is pretty darn close. You guys about right, almost right on the money. Boy, that hits hard when it comes down. That is right. It would have got part of that. If you look, it was right here. So that's pretty darn close on that. I want to take it up again. I'm going to stop this recording for now. There ain't going to be nothing good to record at the time because it's so smoky out here, you guys. It's like it's foggy. So I'm going to bring this camera back up. I'm going to go ahead and recalibrate this thing because I'll recalibrate the camera as well. So let me go ahead and take this thing back up again. So let's try it again. I'll try the recording, I guess, one more time. I'll try it on the controller this time. Did two beeps showing me a little thing at the bottom showing that it is uh, recording so let's see going back automatically yeah we already did the return to home let me go ahead and fire this thing up hopefully this thing stays steady this time see it wants to go up for some reason look at it i'm not doing that at all it wants to go up to that height i guess maybe that's just the way it's said i shouldn't uh Maybe me messing with the controller was interfering it and it was trying to make it automatically land. So let it sit there for a second. Now I'm gonna bring it down manually and see if this thing tries to go back up again. Cause I like to keep it at the height that uh, I want. I mean, that's the whole point. Be able to control your drone yourself. So, <laughs> all right, here I am again. Let's check that out. All right, now it's trying to go and land. When it's right here, it's trying to land. I don't understand that. That's weird. Lights are flashing in the back. So this thing can't be uh, low battery already. Look at it go. Back up to that same spot again. That is crazy. I'm trying to see what the... And for some reason I'm getting a negative uh, height there. I don't know why it's doing that as well. Huh. So I don't know how in the heck I'm going to go, well, that went up higher than what I wanted, than what it did at its initial uh, takeoff. So I don't know why it's doing that. Let me go ahead and take off this uh, 50 times zoom. See if I get in here. Man, it keeps wanting to land. That is so strange. Look at it. Shutting off by itself. What in the world is going on here? That is strange. All right, let me shut off the motors. I don't know, you guys. And uh, one of my buddies had a pretty good uh, run with his, and I don't know why mine's doing that. That is very strange. Let me go switch out this battery. I'll be right back. You know, maybe this, maybe this battery, I don't see anything showing that the battery's uh, low here. It shows like it's still got good battery as far as I could see. 15 satellites. So I'm going to go ahead and let me stop the film right there. And I'm going to go ahead and put another battery in it, calibrate it again, and then we'll check it out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm going to try something a little different here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to calibrate it do the calibration through the app. So just to see. So let's go ahead and calibrate. What's that say? Uh, okay. Huh. That's weird. It won't let me do that. All right, so it's just wanting me to go and do a normal, just want me to do a normal uh, calibration. So let me hold this down again. Okay, it's ready to go. I'm gonna do the old deal here. Nope, it doesn't pick it up that way. So, oh, it did, okay. Now, now it's shown me to, uh, Looks like it's showing face the camera up. That's weird. In the directions on the manual, it says to face the camera down. So let's try up. All right. Did it do it? 
no let's try just there we go okay now let's see what this thing does this time okay I'm gonna do I did a calibration just manually here for the gyros bring the camera back up here okay looks like the camera's kind of tilted to the side a little yeah it sure is let's see if I can straighten that myself a little or if that's just the angle I'm at here okay I'm gonna try to record again start the recording let me go ahead and start the motors okay this time I'm gonna bring it up and there it goes again I don't know what the heck's going on with this thing it's going up by itself and there it goes okay it's not stopping okay whoa it tried to die right there yeah I'm bringing it back down you guys that's so weird that it's doing that got full battery as you can see and then it tries to land right there yeah that is that is something else so I'm gonna turn this thing around oh there it goes trying to go up again yeah I don't feel safe to even take it back out there again especially there's now there's kids coming around over here all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and land this I'm gonna call it a day something's wrong with it. it's landed by itself I'm just guiding it in there's definitely something wrong with it you guys so I tried I tried I thought for sure it was gonna be a decent drone for me work good for my buddy and a few videos I've seen out there but it's not doing it for me I'll have to I'll have to try it out again all right thanks for watching guys God bless cheers and happy flying